Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. The other day I got a question on the channel. They wanted to create a lofted shape like this, hollow it out with a shell, and then add a web feature. But the gotcha was when they went back in to add the bottom here for the shell. So they shelled both top and bottom, removing those faces. And now they want to add a support structure using rib. We'll sketch a line and another line. And we're going to use the web feature. Don't you have to finish those sketch lines? No, you actually don't with web. So if we start the web command, S for search, find web, or look under your create and you'll find web over here. You select these sketch lines and you make sure that you use the extend curves option. And that will make it intelligent to extend up to these rounded faces. I'm going to drag it out a little bit and add that thickness. Now here is the gotcha with doing that hole at the bottom. The web needs to have its faces or boundaries at the bottom to complete against. And since it doesn't, it's got this overextension. And if you investigate the bottom, it's even extended past. So this is not good. We could come in and delete all the faces. But instead, let's do it a better way. All right, so for the first option, if we want to keep the rounded surfaces at the bottom, then let's go back in and edit the shell. Right click, edit feature, and instead of leaving it out, I'm going to include the bottom. Now we just saw the problem with that. It's going to extrude past and it causes our problem. But what we can do, let's add a bottom here. So a couple ways we can do it. We can start a sketch and project this interior. We'll extrude both shapes. We want the outer profile and the bottom at least. And we're adding this additional body here. We'll add 10, something easy to remember. We'll join it. We do have to join it in order for the web to work. If it's a separate body, it's not going to recognize it. So now if we do web, looks great. Come back in, add a separate cut back to that point. So we can select the point or you can type in the negative 10 if you remember that value. And this method will keep that cross-sectional area that continues to change as this surface rounds out. Now, if you'd like to do a more straight cutout, let's look at that option. Go back to Shell. I'm going to right-click, edit the feature, and I'm going to remove the bottom selection. So all we're shelling is the top and keeping everything uniform thickness, and we'll leave that bottom face in. Now, when we use the web, why are you using web and not rib? Shouldn't you just use rib feature? Yeah, for this example, the web is much better because we're trying to do extrusions that run down or perpendicular like this. Ribs are awesome for this type of design where you're trying to sketch a shape and from the side or parallel to the sketch plane you're on, you want to extrude that um, in different directions. So in this case, I'll select this sketch plane come in and sketch whatever kind of profile I want it to be, whether it's just kind of jogging lines or arcs, whatever the shape is, and be sure with the sketches that it extends to hit those boundary faces. Now when I start the rib, I can extrude that shape. And there's also options here in the dialog where if I don't extend it all the way down, I do a distance, it'll kind of create more like a thickness on this design. So we get to control just how far it goes. Back to the box. So now to starting the web, I'm gonna extrude it down. Looks great. It's not overextending. It's going to the bottom, it's clean. But now how do you get rid of the bottom? For removing the bottom, what we can do is come in and select this bottom face. Hit E for extrude and that starts a new extruded cut. But what's exciting is it's basically projecting that existing face and allow, we don't even have to sketch it. We just hit E, select it, and we're doing an extruded cut based on this face profile. Very cool. Now if I select each one, can do it. Right click to use the repeat command. Right click, repeat, select the face, drag it all the way through. 
And you could add some intelligence by making it a, a through all cut so that it always cuts it all the way through. And there we go. Hey, for more Fusion 360 videos, check out this playlist.